Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. You're our God and we're your flock, the people of your pasture. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, August the 1st. It's the 10th week after Pentecost, and it's week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 70, Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 40. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Most High. Alleluia. Psalm 70. Alleluia. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Most High. Let them be ashamed and thwarted that seek my life. Let them be turned back in confusion that desire my harm. Let them retreat covered in shame who jeer at my lot. Let all that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say, let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy Make haste to help me, O God, you are my help and my deliverer. O my God, do not delay. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Most High. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, beginning at verse 25. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there was an earthquake so violent that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailers woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, since he supposed that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted in a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. The jailer called for lights, and rushing in, he fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. And then he brought them outside and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They answered, Believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. They spoke the word of God to him and to all who were in his house. At the same hour of the night, he took them and washed their wounds. Then he and his entire family were baptized without delay. He brought them up into the house and set food before them, and he and his entire household rejoiced that he had become a believer in God. When morning came, the magistrates sent the police, saying, Let those men go. And the jailer reported the message to Paul, saying, The magistrates sent word to let you go. Therefore, come out now and go in peace. But Paul replied, They have beaten us in public, uncondemned, men who are Roman citizens, and have thrown us into prison. And now they're going to discharge us in secret? Certainly not. Let them come and take us out themselves. 
the police reported these words to the magistrates, and they were afraid when they heard that they were Roman citizens. So they came and apologized to them, and they took them out and asked them to leave the city. After leaving the prison, they went to Lydia's home, and when they had seen and encouraged the brothers and sisters there, they departed. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Make haste to help us, O God, for we rejoice in your love and your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>